Okay. So for starters, I'm mixing my epoxy. I know that this is the wrong way to do it, but that's okay. I literally mix 10 or five or 15, whatever. Uh, I put however much is half in my cup and then I do the other part. Sometimes I remember to do part A and then B. I think you're supposed to do A and then B, um, but for sure I use the metal stir sticks. That has been a game changer for me. It's just a coffee stir stick. So how to mix a pot kind of blasphemous way, this is it. But make sure you scrape your sides. This is just a, a video of me working on some stuff, just basic technique stuff. Nothing fancy. Cold again. I hate Texas weather, man. It was beautiful just a few days ago, rainy a few days ago. I woke up to like a quarter inch of ice in my duck's swimming pools this morning. That's annoying. Ooh, I almost dumped that. That would have been pretty, wouldn't it? All right, I'm going to, my big old giant hands in the way. So using air bubbles in there, uh, if you do it that way. Slow and steady. There are epoxy mixers out there. It looks like a tiny little cement mixer, and I think I might invest in one soon. But uh, for now, this is working for me. I actually have a shop light with a 300 watt bulb that I put mm, four inches away. The bulb is about four inches away from the um, bottles. And I let my epoxy warm up for a little bit. There have been times that I totally got it too hot and it started mixing way too quickly. But um, make sure and scrape your sides really, really well. And also scrape off whatever you're stirring it with. Just like that. I've got two cups I'm working on, so... Um, just basic. So I've got a cowhide uh, water slide that I'm about to do. I'm going to um, put a layer of epoxy over it and then in a little while I'll come back out here and put my glitter on there. So I'm going to go right there. All right. So basically all I'm going to do is mm, I'm actually going to move this camera real quick. Ta -da. I am so right hand dominant that I have a hard time doing anything. Okay, I'm probably going to regret this. This is literally sitting right in front of me. Um, I'm so right handed that I have such a hard time doing anything left handed. Or from the other side. It's really kind of ridiculous. So you can see that I've trimmed this. I just took a blade and just slowly worked around it. I'm, I'm not super worried about these dark spots up here at the very top, because I'm gonna put a little glitter band. Sorry, it keeps trying to focus on my hand. Just covering that top right there. Okay, so there's that. I have, um, this cup and a wood grain cup that's in process right now. And man, I had the weirdest thing happen on the wood grain one. I've got this a little thicker than I want, so I'm just going to spread that out. I had a total fail on this tumbler just a couple days ago. I had to start completely over. I was so irritated with myself. All I'm doing right now is just kind of thinning that out. I had it way too thick for what I'm doing. I don't really need this thick. I just need it nice and coated so I can put the vinyl on it tomorrow. This order is actually overdue. I just have too many irons in the fire. It's crazy how busy we get when we don't even want to be busy just with life stuff. But it happens.
in a little bit, I'll hit this with a little heat just to pop those bubbles, but I'm not really worried about them right now. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment. Uh, I should see them. Since I've got this right in front of me, I should see it pop up. But sometimes I concentrate a little too hard and I may not actually see it. So I don't need this bottom part very thick at all. Like I said, I'm going to put um, glitter on it in a little bit. But I do like doing chunky glitter on a much thicker epoxy base. Mo most of the time when you're doing epoxy method on your glitter, you want it so thin that you don't even have to turn it. I am not the best at pr practicing what I preach on that. It is so easy to get it too thick. But that uh, yellow glitter one I did the other day, it was easy peasy. I do feel like the chunky glitter lays down better if this is a little bit thicker. It's like it settles in or something. I don't feel like I have to deal with as many pieces sticking up. It's also really cold in here, so if it was a little warmer, this would go much smoother. But that's okay. Okay. I just hit reconnect again, so hopefully this is good. Uh, Jolene, to answer your question, this is not fabric. I have been looking for fabric that has that realistic of a print for a while. Um, I haven't found one yet. So um, that is water slide. It's just laser printed from the library because the printer I have at home is kind of crummy. Nice thing about laser printer is you don't have to seal it. And because of that, I like to put the image printed side down then I don't seal it and it doesn't bleed it's great all right so I'm just getting the rest of this bottom here so I'm actually gonna move my phone in just a second because I do not want that heat gun blasting y'all's eardrums out so I'm gonna just make sure I don't have any dry spots okay I'm gonna move this for just a second. <laughs> Thank you, that is actually just an image that I found somewhere on the internet and I emailed it to myself and every time I have to go to the library, I just pull it right back up. Hey Leah, how are ya? Okay, so I'm going to bring this away. Don't look at my mess over there, it's so bad. So I am just doing this enough to pop those major bubbles at the top. I'm only going to do the bottom because I uh, want it to kind of even out. I don't care about the bubbles. I just need to make sure it's even. Okay. Voila. So that's pretty, pretty good. I don't really have any bubbles there. Um, I do have one little spot that did not get good coverage. So let's fix that real quick. Here it comes, right here. That's not good. Okay, so that's all I have going on that cup. And I'll let that kind of, mm, I kind of need to level that out again. So here we go again. Okay, that's that. I'm just using this right here. I have a torch. I haven't used it yet. I thought I was pretty strong, but I cannot get the top to attach to it. So I don't know what in the world I'm doing wrong, but I just need to have hubby do it. So I'm gonna move this back there. I'm gonna make sure it's not touching my mat or anything. And I'm going to move 
this guy to the front of the class. Oh goodness, okay, I gotta go the other way. I can't do this, I'm just a little too gimpy when it comes to trying to go other directions. There we go. Okay, so this is going to be a two-tone wood grain. I have a layer of epoxy on here already, but the weirdest thing happened. I ended up with right here, I don't know if you can see when it comes back around. I wasn't worried about wood graining the whole thing. This is actually part of a tutorial that I'll have coming up, but right here you can see where I had to peel that off. It was the weirdest thing. I had a perfectly round, it looked like a meteor had hit my cup. It was like an indention and I just spilled epoxy all over my countertop. Ah! Okay, it's gonna be one of those days. So, luckily this spot doesn't have glitter on it. So I'm just salvaging it. Okay, so I'm just having to put another layer on here, partly because it didn't end up as even up here as it should have but partly because I have to level out this part right here and compensate for that. Um, and then I'll lay down decals. Amanda, if you're watching this at any point, you'll recognize this cup. Um, so I'm gonna lay down decals, spray paint, and then re-wood grain with a darker brown. I'm just going to spread that evenly. Nice thing about epoxy is depending on the surface, like right now this, I don't even know what kind of countertop I've got that I'm working on. This actually used to be the cashier, cashier counter at my friend's scrapbook store years and years ago, 200 miles away. When they moved back to DFW, she took it with her and it was her scrapbooking counter in her craft room forever. And then when she remodeled, I got dibs on it. It was great. It's definitely well loved. So it pops off pretty good. I'll go through and pop it off with my, um, there was a paintbrush here, that was random. I go through and pop it off with my Cricut spatula. That thing is like my super tool. This guy right here, I use it for everything. Scooping glitter and popping off epoxy, lifting vinyl. <laughs> Jolene, I hope my uh, fumbles make you laugh, even though you're relaxing. Uh, I've needed to get out here and work so much lately. It's just not happening lately. I don't even have kids in sports or anything. I don't understand. Life happens. So now that my epoxy has cooled off, it's definitely getting harder to work with. So I'm actually gonna move my light up here. Hopefully it doesn't make a weird glare. But I can't set it where I was gonna set it because that was full of epoxy. <laughs> I know that makes a weird glare, so I'm gonna kind of move. But I'm thinking that having this heat a little closer will be helpful. My little space heater is nice, but it's down by my feet. Leah, they are definitely a blessing and a stress all at the same time. <laughs> I'm glad it's not just me that makes an idiot out of their self. Okay, I'm not liking how this is working out for me. So give me just a second. I gotta boost that uh, light up just a bit. Here we go. All right, 
I got a box full of findings, tassels. Fits perfectly in that space. There we go. Jolene, how many kids do you have? I'd love to know. I just have two myself. Um, my teenager is bigger than me. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, my teenager is bigger than me, and he, luckily I still have him afraid of me, at least enough to get him to do what I want, but he outweighs me. He's like six inches taller than me. Okay, this is getting way too thick now. I'm gonna have to hurry. And he smells and it just, man. Oh, I have a 12 year old, but it's a she. Uh, oh my gosh, Leah's spilling 30. Oh my gosh. What a mess. That's frustrating. Okay, yeah, I really got to book it because this is partly curing and partly uh, cold. So I'll heat this cup up in just a minute. I'm sorry that lighting is weird. It's um, like just over freezing here right now. <laughs> Uh, 42 it says it was like 30 40 smell yeah one started smelling maybe around 12 I can't imagine if he played football or something I don't know that I could handle the smell in my house if I did it's bad enough that even though he showers every day we bought a glade plug um not a plug-in, but an air freshener that mounts to the wall and is battery-operated. Just so that it would kind of camouflage some of the smell. Alright, so. I've got that coated there. Oh my goodness, Canada. Here I am complaining about my weather. And you're in Canada. I probably sound like a pansy. I'm almost as far from Canada as I can be and still be in the U.S. Uh, well, except for Hawaii. Uh, I am in North Central Texas. Hopefully I don't have too bad of a twang. I used to be made fun of so bad that I practiced not talking with the Texas twang. And people started asking me if I was from North, like New York, Jersey area. And uh, that was kind of funny. Whenever people would ask me that, my coworkers at the time would just die laughing because they knew. All right, so I'm about to heat this up, but I'm going to get this nasty epoxy cup away from everything. And wipe it up. Negative 42. Oh my goodness. I would die. I know for a fact I would die. If I can see my breath, it's too cold. I think the coldest place I've ever been is probably like Colorado, but it was still actually really warm because of all the sun and all of that coming through. Like we went skiing and we had it um, where we were skiing in t-shirts and ski bibs, which is pretty funny. It's all fun and games until you get stuck in a sudden snowstorm at the top of a hill and you have to actually go down it in the snowstorm. Luckily I had my coat on, but you ever see that movie Dumb and Dumber where they're on the little moped and he gets off and he's got snot going all the way to his ears? I kid you not that happened to me in 10th grade. It was quite comical and has stuck with me the rest of my life. Oh, my friend is in Florida. She lives in uh, Fort Myers. So now I'm just going to blast this. So that's why I'm bringing this uh, down. Yeah, so there was uh, just a couple summers ago that the temperature was like 119 so many days in a row. 
so, uh, Leo, we totally bought that movie uh, combo recently. We're making the kids watch all the movies that we loved as a kid. So it's really funny. Because uh, that is definitely one of our favorites. So that is all I'm going to do on this one. Um, I don't really have a lot going on right now. If y'all want to see it, I'll show you a total fail. It looks like a murder cut. So tell me if you want to see it because I'll definitely show you. Because it's bad. It's so bad. Okay, so I'm moving this over here. Out of the way. And then... I know somebody's going to say yes, so I'll go ahead and show you. So I had this beautiful cup that I did on one of my tutorials. Okay, Leah, here you go. And so I had this beautiful cup. Okay, let me take that one away. That I did in a tutorial, right? Well, with the exception of that glitter, because I had this turning on this little mini turner over here, and I wore an apron for the very first time ever, and I kid you not, the apron wrapped around the whole bottom of this thing. So I got off as much as I could, but I had so many spots of uh, fiber and just places I could not recover it. So I sprinkled a little glitter over it. This is Cinderella, I mean Snow White from Franz. And um, it salvaged it, it's so pretty. Let me get back a little bit. My grandma said, is that mine? So I got the genius idea of doing a red and gold one for her. It's hideous. I can't wait to strip this thing. Look how lumpy it is. It got so thick. Yeah, I'm really proud of that other one. Um, but it got so thick. <laughs> Look at that. It looks like... I don't even have to tell you what that looks like. If you're a woman or in the medical profession, you know what that is. But it is the ugliest thing I've probably ever made. Nothing was going right. Thank you, Jolene. I'm going to assume you're talking about the one that doesn't look like it was murdered. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> it was so bad. And then I had this other cup last week that literally unscrewed and stuck like that with a nice thick layer. This is after I cut off so much uh, spare and I filed it down. Leah, I would love some ideas on how to save it. I was thinking I would put, if I didn't strip it, I was thinking I would put another layer of epoxy to smooth it out and put a decal over that ugly spot. But that's all I got. So if you have a good idea, I'll take it. I did have one cup go good for me this week, and that was this one. I don't know if y'all have seen. Sanding in another coat of epoxy would be totally fine. It'll be fine as far as the lumps go, but it's ugly in person. It's way uglier than the picture lets you see. Yeah, I guess I could ink that again. But here's, um, this is real cowhide that literally has just been Mod Podged. I have a couple of little pieces of tutorial on this one. It's kind of weird because I wasn't expecting it, but you can see the discoloration <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of digging this one, Leah. Um, it's growing on me for sure. I was not expecting to see that. So I was really excited that at least one cup went in my favor. My first attempt at the... Uh, thank you, Janice. Um, my first attempt at this one was at the uh, cowhide one. Yeah, I didn't know cows had freckles, Leah. But that makes sense. I mean, why would they not have uh, freckles? Uh, yes, Janice, uh, Jolene, that is totally real fur. I did another one that had this. I was looking for the scrap of hide, but I don't know where it is. I did another one with this on it, and it was so pretty. It sold instantly. So if y'all have a leather shop nearby, you should totally go in and see what they have. I got another two of these distressed pieces. This is big enough to do um, 
I did that on a 20 ounce and I had that little bit left over. So anything bigger than a 20, thank you, Leah. Um, anything bigger than a 20, this eight by 10 probably would not cut it for you. So that's really all I have right now. I just kind of wanted to show you all this. Oh, you know what? It's time for glitter for that guy. So we'll do that. So I'm gonna just move this over here. I'm gonna turn the light and just keep that one warm. Get that awkward lighting off of here. All right, so just like last time, we are going to do, I had to find my camera, Zoe, Shocker. This is a Franz glitter. I love that place. I could probably spend my whole retirement buying her glitter. But I won't because my husband would probably have a heart attack. So now that my <clears throat> epoxy has set just a little bit, I can do the glitter. The last time I did it, I kid you not, it was so stupid. I had it on way too thick anyways, but my glitter floated all the way up to here. And because I was lazy and I was trying to do it here also, instead of hand mod podging and doing that one, um, it floated all the way up to like right here in more than one spot. It was really stupid. I couldn't believe I did it, but I did. I'll own it. All right, so I'm just going to, I like to start at the bottom on these and I've just got a fresh piece of wax paper underneath it to catch it. I don't have to dump it real hard, but just a little bit. All right, I'll fix my phone here. I feel like I'm always sniffling in these videos. I am so sorry if I am. If it's not allergies, it's cold. Like, not a cold, but it's cold. I'm not used to negative 42 Canadian weather. Oh my gosh, I cannot imagine that. I would die. Like straight up my heart would freeze and I would die. I could probably survive that Florida weather though. So I'm just kind of working my way up here. Oh, thank you, Addison. <laughs> Leah, I'm glad I'm not the only one. Oh my gosh. No way, man. But people also say that about Texas. Because these summers are brutal. But I don't know if I could keep chickens if I lived in Canada. I know they're pretty... Um, pretty... Uh, dang, I can't think of the right word for what I'm trying to say. Robust? That's not the right word, but um, I don't think they could survive the negative 42s without like a really good coop. I don't mind heat either, Leah, um, to an extent. I do kind of have a cutoff. So y'all probably see this. Um, let me get over here in better lighting. I want to show y'all something. Thank you, Zoe. So you'll see a seam right there and right there from my water slide. I am, I am going to strategically place the name in that spot. It's gonna say Mrs. Cruz. So the M, the curve of that M should be pretty perfect. Right there. Uh, Addison, I actually did a video on the first one of these I did. Um, that literally gives you the step-by-step -step on how to do this. Uh, everyone has a little bit different technique, but I do have uh, a video on that that's helpful. Okay, I'm going to do this the easy way since I don't have this super thick and runny. Okay, so Lisa, the trick to this is clear coat. 
there's a couple tricks actually. Whenever you get your uh, chunky on here. Oh, thank you, Zoe. I'm glad somebody's getting some benefit out of them. I do enjoy. I like to talk a lot anyways. So it just gives me an excuse to stand here and talk to myself without being like a weirdo. So um, I'm the, back to the tricks here. So I've got that covered completely. One thing I like to do on my chunkies, I try and do the base coat pretty close to the color of the glitter. That way, if you do have any gaps, Oh, hi, Gina. Thank you for that sweet comment. Um, so if you have any gaps in your glitter here, if you have a... Oh, my goodness. I did not have that in there. Oh, my gosh. That would have been so bad. Um, it will show you... Like, it'll camouflage it if it's anywhere remotely close to the um, glitter color. I know that's a little distracting with it being so glittery and catching the light. Um, so the trick is epoxy method for me for sure number two letting this kind of set up a little bit it probably sat here for I don't know almost 15 minutes 20 minutes so I'm gonna let this sit for a little longer and then I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna pat it down <laughs> Zoe I am so sorry that you started saying good gravy if that is my fault I am so sorry but it is better than the alternatives. It keeps you out of trouble in a lot of a lot of uh, situations. I have a coworker that says "Good night, nurse" and "Oh my lanta" a lot. I'm really surprised I haven't started saying that. But anyways, um, on this chunky glitter, in a little bit, I'm gonna come and put on a fresh glove and I'm gonna just pat it down like that. And then tomorrow morning, most likely, I am going to. Uh, clear coat it just with Krylon nothing expensive nothing fancy just Krylon and what that will do is put a little layer over here that will allow that to really bond it'll the clear coat I can't talk all of a sudden the clear coat will stick to the glitter and the epoxy will stick to the clear coat Thank you, Jolene. This is one of my favorite colors. I love it so much. So, um, that is how I have finally been successful at Chunky Glitters is the clear coat. It's a game changer. And also patting it down. That has really, really made a huge difference. Um, so, that is all I have to show you guys tonight. Thank you, Kelly. Uh, in a little while, or tomorrow, I'll actually go right around this rim right here with Mod Podge and put glitter over that. My phone's about to die, so I'm about to have to cut this short. Actually, I have a charger right here. Yes, Addison, I will go grab that right now. So really, I just grab whatever I can get my hands on on this. It's just regular gloss. Make sure it's clear. I have seen lots of um, sad stories of people. You're welcome, Addison. Um, I've seen lots of really sad stories of people accidentally grabbing the white. Always check that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Always, always, always check that because it just can be heartbreaking when you put so much work into something and then it's just gone it's ruined so um that's really all i have this cup will get um this mod podge and the glitter right here right around the edge i think i might have a picture of that cup finished oh no uh Raviya, that is actually makes you part of the club for your first tumbler to be a fail <laughs> I've been doing this a year and I just showed two completely uh, different. Um, I don't know what a Fortnite fashion show is, so I won't be able to oblige that request. I'm so sorry. Uh, I'd love to know what that is, though. I do know a couple of the dances. I had to show a four-year-old that I could almost floss. 
and she taught me how to do the hype. I thought I was doing it right. Turns out I wasn't. Leave it to a four-year-old to tell you how to dance better. Mind you, these are four-year-olds. I didn't even know it was the cutest thing. Um, Jolene, actually, yes. I want to do a fire tumbler that has the real smoke. That's all the craze right now is doing the smoke because of the, um, the lighter and like a spoon or something like that. Um, I want to do one. Yeah, so Rabia, that is definitely um, a tricky one to start with. Clear coat. That's like the ideal key. But I want to do a um, just a orange base. Maybe a little red and orange kind of swirled around. Not too crazy. I have a fire cup right here. That's just a regular one. So I think I want to do one that has like this coloring in here with zero of the brown. So that is actually on my to-do list very soon. I have a couple of orders I really, really need to knock out. So, um, yeah, I haven't tried one either, Jolene, and I really want to, but the first time I do it, I want it to be like a legit fire tumbler. I haven't seen anyone do it that way yet. So um, that's what I'm aiming for. Okay, I'm going to be, I'm going to turn it around and say hi to y'all. <laughs> so this is my hot mess express that teddy bear up there right there my great grandmother made me that 30 years ago I'm so excited and then right over here in the shadow box is her bonnet I need to hang it up and then way over there is a picture of my grandmother so anyways I know y'all don't want to see me I just want to say hi and show y'all part of my hot mess over here I even have Coke bottles with my name. How fun is this? I mean, how cool is that? <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah, I know sometimes, um, sometimes I'm like, I'm like a disembodied set of hands. Um, so, Rabia, I am actually in my she shed. It is a mess. <laughs> so bad of a mess. I'm not even going to show y'all anything. I don't even like that you see what I have over here in the corner, but this is like stuff from a vendor event thing over there in the corner. But um, anyway, so I bought this she shed two years ago, and... Um, Actually, almost exactly two years ago. And I thought, oh my gosh, it'll never get full. It's full. I have this really great table that my Cricut stuff is on. This is actually a sewing table. It has a swing up arm, a table on both sides. Yeah, Leah, it's great to have awesome grandmas. Um, but I got that from my sister's mother-in-law. So, um... She was moving. She couldn't take it with her. Blah, blah, blah. She knew I would take it because I have a place for it. And I totally use it. It's the best thing. And there's over in the corner, again, I am not showing y'all this hot mess. My daughter has this amazing, huge L-shaped desk. It's almost like the exact same setup I have here. But it's for her own stuff. For um, She sews and she crafts. But right now... It's a hot mess. I have all my stuff all over it. But anyway, so that's all I have to say. It's time for me to go inside. You know what? It's been a little bit, and this um, is kind of set up probably pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and do this so that I don't have to come back out here. Let's uh, put on a fresh glove. Pa -ba. And we are just going to gently... You know what, let me get this glitter out from underneath because I don't want any bad glitter falling onto the good glitter. So let me just pour this back in here really quick. Um, those of you that are looking for... Oh uh, yeah, Leah, so she, she's taking a little hiatus partly because I hijacked her space. 
but um, there's been bl plenty of times. <laughs> Thank you, that makes me feel normal, Jolene. Um, but there's been plenty of times that we've just been out here and working along. So anyways, we are going to just pat it down. This is gonna make it less lumpy when you are getting ready to put your epoxy on it. You can kind of see down here, it lays down when it gets to the top just because gravity. But just do this kind of all over. You don't want to dab it hard. You don't need to do that. But um, just kind of soften gently and man, if I got that any thicker, this would have floated all the way up. Just gently like that, especially right here. This is my least favorite part. The goal is to not do it so much that you end up with epoxy on your finger, but that's never successful for me. Oh, by the way, when y'all weren't looking, I cleaned up that epoxy. <laughs> I uh, baby wiped it and got it all off instead of having to wait till morning because it was huge. The puddle was just ginormous. So um, that is all I'm gonna do to this. And then tomorrow it'll get a clear coat. And that's it. So I have actually heard that as well, Jolene. Thank you, Gina. Um, that's, I have wax paper here. I just, I'm paranoid because I don't feel like I can control how it's wrapping around. I don't know, it's probably Probably just my own paranoia, but I've been unfortunate enough in the past that I've not taken certain precautions and regretted it, and it was not pretty. So, anyway, so that's that. <laughs> no, thank goodness that did not happen to me. I'm so sorry that happened to you, though, Leah. That would, oh my goodness. I do have... Thank you, Zoe. I'm glad you enjoyed it. So all of this, Leah, if it makes you feel any better, all of that is from uh, spilling epoxy, either knocking it over or um, one of my bottles, actually. I like to put my cup like right here because I can get eye level with it and I can see the CC marks up there. So I do this and I have my bottles just in these that I got like at Winco, it's just condiment bottles. And every once in a while those lids loosen up. So I'm paranoid now, so I literally check it every time. But I was doing it and bloop, the lid popped off. Oh, it was bad. Happy Valentine's Day to you as well, Jolene, and everyone else that's paying attention. Uh, thank you so much for uh, your support. I really enjoy uh, getting to do these videos. I like it a lot. Um, if you get a minute, if you don't mind giving the video a thumbs up, I think that just helps kind of let people know that it's actually a good uh, video, maybe worth watching, even if you fast forward through it. But um, you're welcome, Gina, and everybody else that stayed around. I do appreciate you and your support. And if you have any comments, please don't hesitate to leave that on the comments thread afterwards. Um, because I'll do my best to answer them. I don't know everything about anything, but I know enough to uh, be dangerous because I've made enough mistakes. I can usually find out the answer if I don't know it. Uh, but anyways, so thanks again, guys, for sticking around. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, um, please do so. You'll get alerts when I do stuff like this, the lives. Uh, if you didn't already have that notification. And that's it. So, y'all have a good one. And stay warm. Thank you, Gina. I love doing alcohol inks. I love them so much. They just, they're so easy and they're so different. And uh, you can just do so many different things. But uh, anyways, that's it. Y'all have a great Valentine's evening and great weekend. And... That's it. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye. I keep repeating myself. I'm so sorry. I'm not used to doing lives yet. All right. Have a good one.